Hey everyone, a short video today. I just want to show you how to use query strings in your URL in a bottle app. So by query strings, I mean something like um, you have mywebsite.com, you have a page, so page, and then the query string will be everything starting with a question mark, uh, query one, value one, query two, value two, and so on. So I'll demonstrate how to do that in bottle. So to start, let me import everything for a basic bottle app. I'll need run, routes, and in this case, I'll need requests. Request is going to give me the query parameters, the three R's. So I'll create a route and I'll call this query test. And this isn't flask. You can actually have app dot, dot route in bottle, but for this video, I'll just do add route for the decorator. And then query test. And then I'll return something that I will define in just a moment. So if name is main, I'm going to run debug mode on and reloader is true. So in here in query test, typically if you were having a dynamic URL that was based off clean URLs, so uh, website.com slash dynamic part slash dynamic part for however many you want, you will put that inside of this function. And then you uh, create the dynamic part here. So an example would be if I had name. So I, anytime I go to query test slash something, that something will be saved as name and be passed into here. But I'm not doing that today. I'm using the query string. So in the query string, I'm going to create two parameters. I'll call them param1 and param2 just to keep it simple. So param1 is going to be equal to request.query param1. So request.query gets us the actual value from the query string. And then I'll do the same for param2. Request.query.param2. And then I'll just return those values back. So I'll say the value of param1 is, and then I'll add param1. And the value of param2 is, and then I'll add param2. So that's it, fairly basic. Let me start the server. And then I'll go to query test and I did this backwards. This should be a leading slash with no trailing slash. So let me wait for this to restart. Okay, it just did. So I'm going to query test and param one equals, this is param one and then param two is going to be equal to, this is param two. So I'll run that and we see that the value of param one is this is param one and the value of param two is this is param two. Pretty basic, uh, I can change these to be anything, hello world, and just let me uh, put header tags around them so they're easier to see. So wait for the server to restart, and I just did. Now do the same thing. And I can put a space between and and the uh, quote. Refresh this, and that's it. So it's pretty simple to grab the parameters from a URL query uh, in bottle. Just know you have to use request.query. So the most important thing is to actually import requests. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about uh, query strings and bottle, just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.